Chapin was a Universalist minister and educator. A leader in the Universalist ministry, she dedicated her life to the work of advancing women in society. Born on July 16, 1863 in Lakeville, New York, her family soon moved out west. They finally settled in Lansing, Michigan. Augusta loved school. By the age of 14, she was actually teaching school in a neighborhood county. At 16, she tried to enroll at the University of Michigan, but was denied because she was a woman. Because of that, she started studying at Olivet College. When Augusta was young, it was expected for children to just memorize Bible passages without thinking about the content or context of the passages at all. In college, Augusta learned that there was a whole field of study devoted to studying religious text. She disliked the idea of eternal damnation and was called to universalism. By the age of 17, Augusta knew what she was supposed to do in the world. Quote, I have no recollection of ever considering the question of whether I would preach or not. I never deliberately chose the profession of ministry. From the moment I believed in universalism, it was a matter of course that I would preach it. I never questioned as to how I came by this purpose, nor did it ever seem in the least strange that I should preach it nor had I any real conception of how my course must appear to my friends and the world until I had been more than 10 years in active work. After Olivet College, Augusta attended Michigan Female College. At the same moment, she worked as a school principal in Michigan for more than two years. In 1895, Augusta preached her very first sermon in Portland, Michigan. She ended up preaching there for three years instead of one, as was the tradition before applying for fellowship. Throughout her ministry, Augusta would have to work twice as hard to prove her worth as a minister as her male colleagues. Finally, in 1862, she was granted fellowship and by 1864, she was ordained into the Universalist ministry. Augusta traveled often, working in over 17 different congregations by 1905, including starting new congregations in Iowa. As part of the Iowa Sisterhood of Female Ministers, Augusta worked to bring life, not just academics, into churches. In 1871, she became the director of the Iowa Convention of Universalists and took a seat on the Council of General Convention of Universalists. She proposed new rules that were non-gender specific for fellowship and discipline in the ministry, and they passed! In 1873, she helped found the Women's Center Association, a national organization of religious women of any denomination. Being a female minister was hard enough. They didn't feel the need to separate themselves by denomination. Hmm. Augusta chaired the Women's Committee of the World Parliament of Religions in 1893 at the Chicago's World Fair and was the only woman to preside over sessions at that parliament. Augusta worked for women's suffrage and was a charter member of the American Woman Suffrage Association. She was also on the revising committee for Elizabeth Cady Stanton's pioneering work, The Woman's Bible, published in 1895. Augusta never married, dedicating her life to her work and study. In the summer of 1905, while studying for a summer literary tour she was giving in Europe, Augusta suddenly died of pneumonia. On June 30th, 1905, Augusta Chapin's life work for women's equality in education and ministry was groundbreaking and serves as an example for women leaders today. To find out more about the lives of inspiring Unitarian Universalists throughout history, please visit our website, uuoftheweek.org. Music